guys, it's Sarah from Rocky Hedge Farm and today I am so excited to be able to finally come to you guys and share all of the plans for our upcoming kitchen remodel. So before I get into all of the details um, with the upcoming remodel, I want to take you guys back and show you what the home looked like when we purchased it in 2013. So if this, um, if I was standing in the living room, this would have been looking from like my front door into the kitchen area on this side and um, our dining rooms, which would have been like over here. So this is the marriage wall that I've recently blogged about and even shared a video with you guys on um, that we had taken out since we've moved the home to the farm. And so that has opened up this entire space, but just on the other side of this wall, when we purchased the home, um, was the original pantry. So this is the other side of that wall that I just showed you, and this is the original pantry. And of course, these photos were taken um, back before I really started blogging. And um, we actually purchased our home out of foreclosure. So this place was just a complete disaster. This is very, very cleaned up compared to how we found it. And before we moved in, we actually um, tore that pantry out to open up this um, space even a little bit more than what it already was. So this is one wall that's in the kitchen. Um, this photo was taken from standing in the dining room. Um, from the exterior um, view of the cabinetry, they look okay, but honestly, um, it's hard to tell, but this right here is actually bowed. That shelf was broken, and um, this countertop piece right here was coming off. And then these little holes right here were created from us taking off um, bright blue tiles that were on that back wall. But before we even moved in, we had to come in and um, paint these walls. Like I said, they were just so gross. Um, this photo here shows the refrigerator that the former tenants left full of food with no electricity for months. Um, that was not a pleasant experience to have to clean out. But we moved it out of here. Um, these lights right here we also got rid of shortly before we moved in. And this room right here is our laundry room. The next wall that you're looking at um, is where the kitchen sink is, and this is where the stove would have went. Um, again, you can really tell here just how gross these walls are. I mean, that is yellow from grease and grime and dirt. It was very, very nasty. Um, we took out the dishwasher, and we also took out the microwave, and again, um, painted these walls here. This photo um, shows that there used to be like an island bar area in our home. You could have pulled up bar stools on this side, I guess, and sat here at the island. The opposite side of this cabinet um, had doors that opened. And this was like a big space right back here that really could not even be utilized because it made an L shape right here. And then just one door opened on the front of this cabinet. So again, a lot of wasted space right here. So some of the things that we have gone in and done um, before we moved in, um, like I said, was to paint all of this and to do a whole lot of scrubbing. But in the process of just living here um, over the last couple years, we've also made some changes. Um, and I'll show those to you guys here in a minute. Again, here's another view of um, the corner of the kitchen and this space right here is our dining room. Okay, so real briefly, I'm gonna talk about probably one of the most well-loved areas in our home. Um, we took out those kitchen cabinets and the refrigerator um, where it was originally located to put in a kitchen pantry. Um, so I'm gonna thumb through these pictures real quick and just, um, like I said, give you a brief overview. Um, you can see that our utility area is back here. This is where um, heating and air are. But during the current kitchen remodel, um, this whole section back here, um, our laundry room and that space are getting a makeover as well, but I'll share that in a whole other post with you guys. Um, this is the pantry wall going up. And we did put shiplap on the front of that pantry, um, painted it white, of course, and you can tell that this is before we even had hardwood floors in. Um, here's another view. And then we added the sliding barn door. And then these are the after photos and they're so pretty. But um, one of the reasons that we have chosen to get rid of the space um, was so that we could rearrange the 
floor plan for the kitchen. So I'll be sharing a little bit more about that here shortly. Um, but this space is actually now gone from our home. So I'm gonna step back by our front door and actually show you guys this space because where the couch is now is where the marriage wall would have originally been between our um, dining room kitchen and our living room. Now I flip furniture all the time. Sometimes the couch is there and sometimes it's um, closer to where I'm standing, but um, this is where it's at for today. So if I walk into the kitchen area, um, you can see a big mess of tools for sure because we use those all the time for the projects that we have going on. Um, you can tell that we have removed upper cabinets. The um, dishwasher is already gone. Um, it's been gone for quite a few years now. We've never used it and got rid of it. Um, kitchen island. And then this wall is where the um, pantry used to be. So for the new plan, that's where the refrigerator is gonna stay. And then there'll be a small cabinet, the stove and another small cabinet. And um, you guys will see more of those details um, in the plan that I'll show you here shortly. The door right there that leads into our laundry room, we're gonna get a new door for that space. And then one of the other big changes that we're gonna make is we are going to go from one window to three windows. I love having a lot of natural light in the house. And so um, the contractors are gonna come in and do that for us. They're gonna move this window up several inches and then again, um, add one on either side of it. So the island bar that you've seen in some of the original photos is actually where the tools um, are currently, and that came out into the floor probably a good four feet. And so we removed it because it opened up our space into our um, dining room. So if I stand here, you can tell that, you know, four or five feet from that cabinet um, created it to where we could not have a kitchen island and it just made it um, more difficult to maneuver and get into the dining room area. So now this space is completely open. And again, um, that's our entryway to the right that you guys have seen before, the hallway, and um, then the beam where we had that marriage wall taken out. So the ceiling is something that we're gonna be redoing as well. Um, I still haven't completely come to a conclusion on what I wanna do, but you can see that there are holes in the ceiling where there's um, insulation. And the reason that we've had to do that is because we are putting in new light fixtures. And so we've had to run wires and that's been our solution to get up into the ceiling to be able to run um, the lighting for the new lights. So that's the current situation, definitely not pretty, um, but we've cooked a lot of meals in here, entertained a lot of people. Um, we have made it work for our family, but let's go take a look at what we're gonna be doing. So one of the very first things that we had to do in um, getting ready to design our kitchen was find a cabinet company. Now, we had looked on um, line and we had also been to a couple of shops as far as looking at kitchen cabinets, but my final choice ended up being um, Lily Ann cabinets. And I'm gonna show you guys that um, you can get a free 3D kitchen design by using um, this little tab right here. And this is where I got mine from. And it was very simple to use. I just went right here. I filled out all of this information. I hit the continue design and I sent over um, my kitchen measurements to them as well as a um, few design ideas. And then what I got back a couple days later was the 3D design. After a few days um, of sending in all my information to them, I received back um, a design um, of our kitchen. And I have to tell you guys, they were so incredibly patient because I have emailed back and forth quite a bit making changes and asking about this, that, and the other. And they've just been super patient. Um, but this is what our quote looked like and the um, design as well. And this is one of the features that I absolutely loved. We got to um, see the 360 um, degree virtual tour. And you can see here that they um, put the windows in on either side, like I asked. And this over here is white, but that's where our dining room will be. And then you can just 
scroll this way and look at this view as well. And so our refrigerator is staying in its um, same location that you've seen earlier. And then here's the two cabinets that I talked about. And then our stove will go in the middle of those. Right here in this open space, we will have um, open shelving and um, that'll go on both sides. And then I'll be hanging lights um, above the open shelving. There will also be open shelving over here um, between the pantry and um, the first window that you see right here. And then this drawing right here shows um, the size of our kitchen. This wall right here is 110 inches and they show the um, size of our cabinets as well. And there's another 3D drawing of that space. And then this is the um, kitchen wall where the kitchen sink will be and the three windows. And again, the pantry and this wall is 156 inches. So while this may seem like a really small kitchen to some people, this is um, gonna open up a lot more cabinet space for me. Um, and one of the features that I absolutely love is the um, drawers are all the pull out drawers, um, even the ones next to the stove right here. And one of the reasons that I love that feature is because it seems like when we had um, cabinets with doors on them, everything just kind of got shoved to the back and was easy to lose. The pantry will also have rollout shelves and let me show you guys what that looks like. Um, when they send over this quote, they send over like trim options and upgrades that you can add, um, as well as crown molding. And then this right here is what the rollout shelves will look like um, in our pantry. So I'm very excited about this. The other feature that I loved um, when I got my um, design idea back from them or the drawing um, was I also got my quote. So um, that was good. I was able to see exactly um, what that kind of a cost was up front. Here's a few details about um, our cabinets. We went with the Summit Shaker um, white cabinets. They're very simple, but yet um, beautiful. All of their cabinets are solid wood with a dovetail construction. And um, we will also be getting all of the soft closed hinges and I'm looking forward to that. No more slamming of the doors. So that's just a couple of features that I absolutely love um, about Lily Ann cabinets. One of the other things that Lily Ann does, um, if you're interested, is they can um, send you a free sample. And so here's um, some of their options. Again, we went with the shaker style, but they have a lot of options and I'm very excited to get ours and um, see what they look like. Now, Lily Ann has been gracious enough to share a coupon code with me um, that I get to share with you guys where you can save 5% off of your purchase. And I will um, link that up on the blog post for you guys so you can check that out. So as of today, the kitchen cabinets have been ordered and um, when they arrive, I'm definitely gonna be sharing that process with you guys, but we will actually put the cabinets together ourselves. We've watched quite a few of the videos on their website and feel confident that um, we can do that. And of course, we'll be changing out the laundry room door. We'll be changing out lighting in here, adding the extra windows and um, also ship lapping the walls as well as redoing the ceiling in here. So a lot to happen in the next couple of weeks, maybe month or two. Um, so definitely hit the subscribe button so you guys can follow along and stay up to date on the process. Thanks for watching guys.